In the last section, we explored a few options on where to find machine learning models that are not in the .ml model format. We are going to go over installing Python and Anaconda. We need Python and Anaconda in order to convert trained models into the CoreML format. So we need at least Python version 2.7 for all of this to work. And if you're using a Mac, Python comes pre-installed. But what we want to do is we just want to verify the version. So we're going to open up a terminal window. And basically, we just need to type Python dash dash version to see what version we have installed. So it's Python 2.7. And that's what we need in order for it to work. OK, so we're going to go on over to Google. And we're going to search Anaconda for Mac. You want to make sure that you're getting the version from continuum.io. So installing on Mac OS, we want to make sure that we choose the graphical install. And we want to be sure that we choose the correct Python version, which is this one here. Going to download it. You could enter your best email in order to get the starter guide. You want to make sure that it's compatible with Python 2.7 or you may actually, you will run into problems. Now that that's downloaded, we're going to go through the .pkg installation. I'm going to agree, and I'll see you on the other side once Anaconda is installed. Okay, so I'm here at the Anaconda Navigator screen, and the way that I was able to get here was as soon as Anaconda was finished, with the install, I went into my applications folder and I clicked on the Anaconda icon in order to launch the navigator. So a little background on Anaconda. Anaconda is an actual IDE. For anyone out there that does not know what the acronym IDE stands for, it's Integrated Development Environment. So Xcode is an IDE, Android Studio is an IDE, Eclipse is an Integrated Development Environment. An IDE is a software suite that consolidates the tools developers need to write and test software. So what would be included is, uh, for example, would be a code editor, a compiler, an interpreter, and maybe a debugger. Anaconda is powerful. It is full of IDEs. We need to access SPIDER from it. SPIDER is also an acronym. The acronym stands for Scientific Python Development Environment. So we basically click on Spider to launch it, just waiting for it to launch. And basically, when we get Spider up and running, you'll see it's basically initializing the Spider IDE right from inside the Anaconda Navigator. Okay, this is an interesting message. Okay, so I think this message has to do with the new release of Spider which at this point, I'm not going to go ahead and update to only because it says here in this important note that if you're using Spider with Anaconda, Miniconda, it's asking that we do not use PIP to update it as this will break our installation. Now we're going to touch on PIP in a later section. I'm going to leave everything as is and go from here. Okay, so now that we have Spider up and running, we are now ready to convert our models to be compatible with CoreML. So in this section, we checked for Python and the correct version number through our terminal. And then we headed over to the Continuum website to download Spider. We downloaded it, we installed it, we launched the Anaconda dashboard. And from inside the dashboard, we were able to get Spider up and running.